Oh, Crab Champions, how I've missed you. We're back with some more Crab Champions today. Uh, you guys love to see this game, so I'm going to keep it going. We've only got two guns left to get diamond. we got dual pistols and the burst pistol. I'm running the burst pistol today. This gun used to have a different effect where you could tap right after the shot to make it shoot faster. It looks like uh, he got rid of it, so it no longer does that. But that's, that's totally fine. It's inaccurate, but, but powerful. It's got six damage to start. Pretty strong for a little burst pistol. Uh, let's see what we get for item here. Sniper turret. Uh, it's okay. I think we go again. X shot. There we go. Is it happening? Is the X shot in the room with us? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's kind of interesting. We could get like maybe an aura shot with it. Let's see if we can go here. Let's um, let's run the laser beam again. And you know what? The melees are interesting, but I don't feel like they're like unique enough. I think honestly, I would like to see like a spear, like well, a long jab would be really cool. But I think we just run uh, a new run here. Obviously, we're doing true nightmare to get the uh, the diamond. I'm actually gonna grab this really early. We get Ultra Mushroom, which I think is honestly a great start. It does remove our HP down to two, like 100, but I think if we can start off strong and then get like a, maybe like a Fortitude, the loss of HP is so minuscule right now, it doesn't really matter that much because if we lost 66% for a Legendary, even with like 500 HP, we would be losing like, you know, like 300 HP. I'm going to grab the Crystal here. So good economy already and a good legendary. I would say like that immediately makes my grenades actually worth it to use. And if we can increase our grenade damage, I think it does even more for us. Let's see what we got. More damage when aiming. That's kind of bad because I don't really want to uh, to run aim. <laughs> I actually hate aiming. Like I'd rather just like hit fire because it's basically aiming anyway. But we'll go with a... Uh, Increase cooldown on the melee, but stronger. I think it's totally fine because I don't, I don't melee like often enough for it to be like, you know, worth it to melee a bunch. Like that's pretty strong. Yeah, that's good. We just throw out our mushroom here. Now I think this isn't the one that like splits into. I think it is splitting into smaller uh, mushrooms. There's like a version of the the mushroom that doesn't do the big mushroom. Also, as you guys have probably seen in a previous episode, there was one crazy episode where we had, like, every shot was applying mushrooms. Okay. I think we do streak shot. And I don't know how that kind of... I need to, like, do some research. I don't know how, like, streak shot works with, like, certain things. Like, does shotgun ruin streak shot immediately because you don't hit all your shots? Or if one at least one shot hits on the shotgun, does it work? I have no idea. I also don't know if like every shot needs to hit with the streak shot of this um the burst pistol. Ow. The spread is pretty strong on this gun, so maybe like doing reduced spread would be good. Go for sharpshooter. Listen, I should probably get health. I I, I hate doing it so so early, but don't really want to lose this good of a streak or this good of a run at the start just because I got greedy. You know, if I play it, play my cards right and I still die, fair enough. But I think we should definitely think about what a run win could look like with this gun. And I think it involves this mushroom. Lots of good money here. personal space that that could be good i'm not even sure what close range is considered but if we melee we just increase our hp uh i think we do that we go for guaranteed elemental and now we just do melee attacks i think I mean, that is pretty good.
Well, I've never realized how strong this could be. Because, like, you can really increase your HP quite fast. If you get a couple... If you get a couple layers of that and you just go for melee kills, like, look at this. Hundred eighty two already. I feel like we got like a decent amount there. Fire claws. Okay, hold up. Now I'm starting to think like what if we like completely ignored <laughs> everything except for doing melee and we just like do close up attacks. I feel like this is like really risky to do. And Arcane's really strong. But the, the fire claws is interesting. We've never tried it before, so I'm gonna try this. I want this heal. I'm going to try it, even though I think it's a little risky. And honestly, if we don't if we don't want to be close to enemies, we just do that and now we have big damage from the mushrooms. Why is this actually working? I don't think it's going to last very long, though. It's the only thing. If we can throw a mushroom down and then stand within that area. Oh, Tony's black card's great. Honestly, I think we're, we're cooking up something here. We got 285 HP already. And that's just from personal space. Oh, I missed this. Dang it. Crystal combo. I think we do crystal combo. We're not really looking to be away from enemies, so doing Eagle Eye would be kind of useless. Is that another crystal up here? It is. We've got a shop. Greed is so scary. I don't think we do it. Oh, the fuse died. We get another gold. We have X shot and square shot now. This is great. Okay, we do some armor. I should have bought this first. <laughs> um, listen, we have a boss. I'm, I'm, I need something. I need damage. Okay. Taking damage when extinguishing fire. We do have the melee. And we do hard target. Yeah, the melee is good damage. We don't need to heal. I need crystals for an enhancement. Which one could, which one could be enhanced? I guess we'll never know. Okay, a little risky. Yeah, very risky, actually. Oh my god. I think, like, focusing on the melee on a boss fight is a little silly. Probably we can do that too. This is a little scary. I don't I don't like how little damage I do to this guy. Oh <laughs> Okay, listen. I tried the melee. I, I probably should have just bought Arcane Shot. I learned my lesson, okay? We tried something new. It didn't work. Now we just, we just, uh, yeah, let's do a triple shot formation. Like, I, you know, I have to experiment. I can't just always do the same thing every time. It, it gets kind of boring. Triple shot will be nice, though. I think we need to get the, uh, the chance of it happening up, though. Because I think with this gun, it's not very high. We learned our lesson, okay? Now we just, uh, we just chill. Getting triple shot as our first item is good, because it just increases our damage output, like, dramatically. And let's see, this 17% chance is not bad. I don't know if it happens on every... So, like, I'm trying to figure out if, like, you triple shot. Does it triple shot on all the bursts? I don't know. I can't tell. 
Red Fury. Increasing our damage after after an elimination is good. We just get one kill and then we can do a lot more damage. Helps kind of snowball a little bit. Okay. Feeling much better about this. The X shot felt a little too wide for this gun. I don't know if you guys agree, but like it felt like the square shot and X shot were like huge radius. Made it kind of useless unless you have like better effects for your weapon. Rapid fire. Ooh, reload speed increased by 75% is actually kind of good, but the reload speed is not that long on this gun. Well, that's not bad at all. I think I just get increased fire rate. Go for criticals here. We have two purple totems. Hello, starfish. Nice. What do these do? I think these like cost crystals to get a potential item. We, we just gain crystals. Um. The thing is, when you lose 10% of your HP, you actually lose, like, max HP too. I don't really prefer. I think I'd be happy with either Rapid Fire or Triple Shot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of both of these. I don't think the 33% chance being increased is worth keeping. I guess the, the, sh the critical could have been good too. But I'm going to go for upgrade here on these two items. And just see what we get. I think I'd be honestly happier with triple shot. Because as much as like the increased uh, rate of fire is good, I don't know if it's worth the extra 10% versus like doubling your chance of getting a triple shot on all your bullets. It's kind of like weird because like both of them mathematically do in some way, shape, or form increase the amount of triple shots you're doing. Just in a different capacity. And I think that like having a, a double the chance is probably better. We actually got both options. I think I'm going to go for a triple shot because yeah, 34% chance and we can do another upgrade here and we can probably get 50% chance. And now we're now we're really talking. We get triple shot and then we get like a split shot. We're multiplying our output insanely fast. Like already you can see like things are not even able to get past here. And we're, we're using the elementals and the, the lasers to our advantage here as well, but still. Look how fast we're melting. Oh, there's still something else. What the heck? What is it? What? Okay. We get both again. I'm going to go for triple shot. So we're at 49% chance. Elemental, of course. This is great. No complaints here. This is definitely a better start. Like, the fire clause was interesting. I just don't think it's ever really worth it. Unless you have, like, the melee-only build going, which we've tried before. You need to chill. That barrel was a paid actor. Okay, now all we have to do is get more damage on our on our gun. Like six damage is great, fair, but like it's not gonna be lasting very long. Poison shot is probably better here than arcane. I think just increasing our damage output dramatically and with what what is the percentage chance 10 percent. it's not horrible could be better we do get a rapid fire we do get a sharp shot that's huge this is terrible i don't want to decrease our uh, fire rate look at this yeah we get crazy rapid fire we could like do like absolute crazy burst damage 
Ow. We gotta remember too, survivability is like really important. As always. Let's not troll and forget that we do need HP to win this game. That's one dealt with. I love the new fire effects. They look great. Yeah, once we stack up the, the poison, you can see how quickly it becomes higher and higher damage. Okay, we get a heal. Let's go for more HP. Targeting shot. Firework shot can get pretty messy, but we'll do it. Anything to increase our damage output, even if it's like stupid damage. Because I think it now shoots fireworks instead of like bursting out of the gun uh, or out of the bullets. Because it used to be like if you hit an enemy, like the fireworks would, would blow up on the enemy. Ow. We need to get like hard target, reduced incoming damage, more survivability, more HP. We're dealing with the damage curve pretty decently. So I think we need to focus on like just survivability. Spiral shot. Doesn't really affect the like the uh, trajectory too much, so I don't mind that at all. Okay, let's get rid of all the skulls because I hate them. I also love that every time I come back on this game, there's like new music. It's like I'm getting like a new album for every time I play this game. Sweet. Is there a chest up there? There is. Okay, here we go. All right, what do we get? Lesser chest? Are you kidding me? I'll take a sharp shot. That is not a lesser chest in my in my books. Poison vial. We definitely increase the uh, damage to poison enemies, and we get a double upgrade. Is it worth removing firework shot? I think so. I don't really want to ruin like the chance to get one of these. I'd also say like maybe we get rid of spiral shot, so it's like anything that we like here is good. I think we do that. Spiral shot, you were you were great for a little bit, but I think we go double here. Barrel, rain, and spike strikes. That's fine. Listen, we just keep our distance. I'm totally fine with this. Where's that homing guy? Where, where, oh, he's over there now? Excuse me? Did he die? Perfect. Okay, two upgrades. What do we have? That's a tough choice. I think we do double poison shot. We make this like stupidly strong. Because 30% chance is like huge and it's going to make the stacks grow. Because the thing about bosses is that bosses lose their stacks pretty quickly. You want to do this? I did it once just to see if we can get lucky on the first one, but let's move on. Chance totem. Like, the dream is to get a 100% poison shot, and then we just poison everything. So the faster we can get that involved in our build, the better. We need better AoE, though. Like, the laser AoE is not doing it for me. It is a horde, though, so we don't technically need to kill everything. You can see we do not deal well with, uh, with big groups. Skill chest. Grip tape. I think we do... Oh, boy. Okay, it's like spread and recoil is good. I wonder if that helps with the laser... Like the... The... 
the spy we're not doing spiral anymore actually i forgot about that but like i guess the spread is like reduced a little bit one hit no with elemental explosions too that that's just like a that's just a failure waiting to happen Oh, those things go fast. Listen, listen, listen. Look, we don't need to do this, okay? Like, this is crazy. I absolutely hate these sniper crabs, man. They will be the death of me. I know it. They're usually the way I lose. Stop. Thank you. Yeah, we we are not dealing well with like big hordes. We have like good single target damage, but our our ability to clear waves is so bad. I don't like the damage over time. I think it's like bad. I don't know if that does better does it do better damage against poison? We can try it. I think it's like kind of kind of stupid though. One hit. Do they die even with armor on? This is so scary. Honestly, I think demolition and health is just better. <laughs> this is so stupid if we do this. Let's go demolition health. It's one dead. There's another dead. There's a chest here. Another one dead. And the last one. Perfect. Let's go over to get that chest real quick. We got flawless too. Yeah, we need a lot of help here. Hard target definitely helps. Okay, I think we're gonna heal at the thing. So we just get armor here and then then we do damage increase when high HP Yeah, or increase by 125 <sighs> I think we try By tally here. We have a, we have an armor plate. So this should be able to keep us alive a little bit Heal to full Any way to increase our damage output is probably the best spiral shot is back I'm not going to take you though. Triple shot upgrade. Yeah, I think we do that. And we could probably sell the vitality for rapid fire or time shot here. Six extra damage though. Poison vial. We're now doing a like a 75% uh, chance or 75% increased damage to uh, poison enemies. So, yep, melt. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Poison is unbelievably broken. I also think I need to understand like what one stack of poison does. Is it like a 1% increased damage? Ow. I think that's what it means. Like it's 1% extra damage. Maybe it's just me, but that's like a pretty strong. Like they basically double the damage with 100 stacks. Uh, sharp shot. Yes. Go for a shop. 
free armor plate. Okay, thank you. Another one. We need to find glue shot. I think we just we can we could reduce our damage a bit. But we're looking for Oh. Okay. I mean, look how fast the poison goes up. We, we're looking for glue shot here. It's like the only thing we really care about right now. It's hard to kill this guy because he he's a poison grub, so he does remove the stacks quite quickly. Actually, never mind. He's melting. Okay. Ow. A little scary. All right, easy choice. Another aura shot. I d I I don't know if this is just. Oh wait, I see it now. Oh, they're tiny. All right, so I do need glue shot. Glue shot will just blow up this run. So it is working. I think Aura Shot was maybe nerfed a little bit because it is quite strong. Okay. I, I think that our our build is actually not that good. <laughs> Looking at like how I'm doing with rat, like loop one, it's not strong right now. But we're making it work. I th still think the big thing is I just don't have like good wave clear. It's been it's been the problem the whole time. Take sharp shot again. Go for damage. We just need damage, damage chests. The relic giving us extra shop items is going to be very helpful to find glue shot, I think. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, like, see, we can't handle, like, just, like, a big group of enemies. Like, we can, but we can't, you know what I mean? Like, if, if, these, if these enemies were stronger, we would be in such a bad spot. We need a way to uh, get poison on more enemies more often. I think so maybe like, an, uh, like a poison aura would be really good. No complaints about single target, though. Glue, 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 glue. Okay, sharp shot is actually really strong now. We have 20 extra flat damage. Get another poison shot here, maybe. Really, just holding out for glue. <laughs> it's, it's actually like that's that's the story of my life in this game. Like, if we get like a build like this where we have aura shot, we're trying to depend on like the damage it does. It seems like glue is mandatory. Poison vial. Yep. Would like to see like a. We would like to see like one thing where it increases the stacks from our poison. That would go very, very, uh, very well with our build right now. Okay, fire pumpkins are super scary because they cause a lot of mess on the field. See a grub? Or slug, sorry. No, dude, stop. I hate these things. They're actually the bane of my existence in this game. At 
least in these waves, like I, I can like deal with things pretty easily because things come in pretty slowly and like like we said, a single target damage is very good. There we go. Triple shot. This could be our 100% chance to triple shot. I think we just do it. There we go. Go for luck. All right, we're now never not doing triple shot. You gotta go, thank you. left what are these guys doing here <laughs> what is that what is this little party and why wasn't I invited thank you okay I think we do Let's do rig totems. Go for econ again. Like, yes, like I could have went for like sharpshooter. But like I said, I don't think damage really matters if you have poison. You, you just need to go for like poison stacks to go for damage. Damage is no longer really an issue. It's just like how you do the damage. I'm actually low HP. I just realized. I have a shop next, so I just need to survive this round. Okay, we avoid that. Just shoot everything over there. Put a laser down. Just doing ring around the rosy. I don't really want to like risk it here, man. I'm playing so scared. Oh, okay. I swear I killed you already. Why are you there again? Having deja vu. Okay. A little scary. Our HP is not in a good spot. We have the the final boss here. Money shot again. Ooh, I think we go money shot. It's gonna be more helpful overall. Let's get the heal first. We need glue shot. We are looking for glue shot. It might be worth it to buy a gold armor. Oh, wow. Wow. That's huge. Dividends is good. We don't need triple shot anymore. We're looking for glue shots. Turbinax is okay. We're looking for glue shots. Oh, that's huge. Poison strength increased. I'm going to roll one more time if I can. And if the glue shot shows up, we, we basically just sell for it. We did not get it. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. How much does this sell for? Oh, it's not very much. Damage combo. This one can go. Rig totems can go. 
Damage combos can be pretty pretty good, but I think we remove it. We remove grip tape. That's like we're at 12,000, I think. We need to remove one more thing. I don't want to get rid of rapid fire. I could get dividends again. I think that's this is like let's see. Five, ten. <gasps> no. Okay. Tony's amulet, it was nice knowing you, but you gotta go. Yeah, that's important. The stacks of poison are going way faster now. Still no glue shot though. Should be a pretty easy boss otherwise. We've cleared all the uh, the armor. Frozen. Still have to be careful though. I don't have a lot of HP. Where's the other boss? He's right here. Okay. Actually a little scary with how much was flying at me, but we're okay. One more key over here. Okay, now we get something crazy here, please. Ooh, wait a minute, that's huge. Fifty percent more likely to trigger. I think that's like, I don't know how that works. I don't know if that's like, uh, that's not seventy nine percent. I think that's like, probably uh, adding fourteen or fifteen to that. I'm not sure if it's a percentage of the percentage or or if it's like adding flat percentage. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Can we loop for sure? We should be poisoning a lot more often though. Either way. And we need it because we're our damage is not good. It's like once we shoot the enemies like a couple times, then we're like doing crazy damage. But at the very start, we suck. And these guys, okay, I can't fight them in the water. I just can't fight them in the water. It's so bad. They wash off all the poison. So I think after the loop, like, enemies have more speed. They have more damage. They might even, like, reduce the poison stacks faster. It looks like they do. Look how fast they're going down. We have our work cut out for us here. I, th I don't think we're in a comfortable spot at all. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> okay, we're definitely not doing one hit. I think we just won. Yeah, we won. Okay, what is that? Why are the auras like a million times bigger now that they're on an enemy? Like, what is that? Excuse me? Okay, remember when I said we won? I'm actually scared. We have a lot of reduced incoming damage and we're still taking a lot of damage. The new, um, oh, okay, I got poisoned again. The new um, damage scaling for the loop is actually terrifying. Top contains good more goods for sale. I honestly think we just go money shot. 
I want a health chest here. As soon as possible. Things are looking up though. The aura shot, glue shot combo finally came to life right at the start of the loop, which is probably the best time it could have happened. Sharp shot, go for elemental maybe? There's a chance we go elemental and we don't even get any poison stuff. Where damage could just be good damage increase. I'm gonna go for it though. Just hope for it. Holy. I know I'm in the water, but at least the enemies aren't, so we can probably deal with them on the shore before we get back on the, uh, the island here. Perfect. Okay. Do we go for increased chance? I think we do because every chance we do that, I think it adds like a lot more chance because we're doing like the 50% increased from the gold dice. Yeah, I think we uh, made the right choice. Okay, we get rid of the chaotic grubs first. Probably the launcher crabs too. Get back on the island. The second we get away from the water levels, we're actually doing better damage, which is kind of funny because this is like earlier levels, but it's actually the worst levels for us. Because lava doesn't get rid of poison. Ice doesn't get rid of poison. The desert doesn't get rid of poison. Just, just the first set of levels. Oh wait, we, we literally got everything. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing that many bullets do non-poison. So I actually think that we go for like the strength increased here. So we get more stacks per time it gets the stacks going. Because I think overall that's going to be better output. I haven't, how have I not taken damage here? Okay. I got hit by the, by the ant. Actually, is that a healing chest? Random. What is happening? Go for strength again. Okay, we have a, we have a banana. That's whatever. Poison vial, hard targets, checklist is huge. Go for a reroll. I don't think we really have anything that we can get rid of that would like be worth it. So I think I'm just gonna move on. Be 30k more crystals, excuse me. Okay, yeah. Like I said, poison is the most broken thing in the game. <laughs> it's, it's actually ridiculous. Get some, uh... None of these are good. I'll just actually salvage. It's stupid how broken it is. I think it would actually like all you can eat or something. Because like the reload is like our biggest downtime. 
There's a very clear difference between when we're shooting and when we're not. So the lo the the less we can not shoot, the better. Also, one of my favorite like quality of life things in this game is the fact that like now when you check like checklists, you can see how much it's done for you, which is super super cool. Cause it was always like a big mystery of like how much damage we were doing based on checklists and stuff. So now it says like things like this. Total damage gained four percent. It's really really cool. And obviously these stats too are really awesome to see. Global damage. Glue shot increasing doesn't really do much. It adds four damage. I think we'll do it. Piercing waves is okay. If every glue shot increased the delay, that would be horrible. Our damage is still like not that good. I don't know why. Like it's good when it when it happens or like when I build it up, but the starting is just bad. See ya. Oh, I got karma. Oh my god. Another glue shot. I mean, I'll do it. I don't think we do time shot. We don't need to. We don't need to reduce the uh, the effectiveness of our of our damage. Okay, we're getting there. It's slow but sure, I guess. Oh yeah, there we go. That was crazy. Fire aura, poison shot. I think we go for strength here again. Our poison shots already like, you know what? No, we'll do one more poison shot. I think this is like guaranteed now almost. Actually, no, actually it's not. Double damage. Spike strikes energy rings is not that bad. Actually, it's horrible. I don't know what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Okay, I, I regret this decision. Very much so. As long as we use these uh, jump pads, we should be good. But man, that was scary. More enemies spawning? Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, we uh, somehow uh, survived this. I kind of made a big mistake choosing this one. Sharpshooter's great. Sharp shot. Sharp shot again. We go double, double relic. Armored enemies, speedy enemies. It's fine. <laughs> I 
Ow. Holy armor, man. These uh, blocker crabs being like on a separate rotation from everything else is kind of uh, our biggest problem right now. Okay, good to know that speedy enemies are actually kind of terrifying if they're all speedy. I guess I should have realized that, but like that's insane how fast they're moving. We really need HP. We're 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 struggling out here. Pedestal that heal ten percent of your HP every, every time you parry. I mean. Increase the combo, and we'll do like a parry, hopefully get like a parry heal. Oh! Oh, I'm at 3 HP. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm dead. Oh my god. What a run though. Dude, the triple shot was not that strong. I'll be honest. I, th I really thought I was okay, but that was crazy how much damage they were doing. I really needed to... Like, I had, I'm pretty sure I had like, reduced damage by like 100%. I mean, I don't know if it's like additive obviously, but wow. We still took a lot of damage. The, the second loop is no joke anymore. Well, we unfortunately did not make it today. I really thought we had it. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll definitely give that gun a go again. Maybe try this, the dual pistols next time. I haven't really ever run this gun. It seems pretty decent. It's only five damage though. And it seems actually worse than the burst pistol. I don't know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.